Amen. Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made. I pray you are rejoicing. I pray you are glad in it. Thank you so very much for joining us each and every day on our Fresh Fire prayer series as we're praying this month about the bountiful blessings of God. I'm thankful and grateful for you joining in with us and the church family here at New Horizons Church. Each day, we just simply read a passage of scripture that reminds us and describes to us how God wants to bless us with his bountiful blessings. And then we put our faith into action. We believe God. We call upon him and believe him for the very things he's promised in his word. And so today we're going to be day number 16 in Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 18. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 18 from the New Living Translation of the Word of God. Here's what the Word of God says. So the Lord must wait for you to come to him so he can show you his love and compassion. For the Lord is faithful. The Lord is a faithful God. Blessed are those who wait for his help. Amen. So the Lord must wait for you to come to him so he can show you his love and compassion. For the Lord is a faithful God. Blessed are those who wait for his help. Amen. As we go to the Lord in prayer today, believing him for his bountiful blessings, let's just pray and thank God, first of all, for his patience with us. You know, the scripture tells us the Lord is waiting on us to come to him. As much as we need to come to God, God wants us to come to him. And he's been patiently waiting for us to come and to ask for his compassion and his help. So let's pray and thank God for his patience. Secondly, let's pray and thank God for his compassion toward us that he wants to show us how much he loves us and how he is compassionate toward us. And so let's pray and thank God for his compassion. Secondly, or thirdly, let's pray and thank God for his faithfulness to us, that when we come to him, God never disappoints. He never sends us away empty-handed. He always has a blessing in store for us. And then fourthly and finally, let's pray that we will receive the blessing of the Lord's help. Come on, let's pray to the Lord today. Father, in Jesus' name, what a great day this is to be alive. This is the day that you have made, and God, we are rejoicing and we are glad in it. God, thank you for your mercies being new every morning. Lord, thank you for the privilege we have to be able to call upon you, knowing that you will answer us and show us great and mighty things. Lord, thank you for the invitation to come to your throne of grace to find grace and help in our time of need. Thank you for being the God that blesses us with bountiful blessings, abundant blessings in the name of Jesus. Lord, we understand and appreciate your patience as you are waiting on us to come to you. Thank you for being patient with us, God, when we've run all over the place trying to find help in places that we should not be looking for, trying to find love in all the wrong places, trying to find support from the wrong people. God, thank you for being patient and waiting on us to turn to you. Lord, forgive us when we've looked to the left and looked to the right, when we should have looked up and known that you are our heavenly father and you have every one of our needs supplied according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, that you supply all of our needs. Thank you that you know our needs before we even ask. And you're waiting on us to ask you that you might show us your compassion and love toward us. God, we thank you for God who is so gracious, so kind, so loving, so forgiving. And so we ask for your forgiveness now when we did not turn to you sooner. We ask you, Lord, to forgive us when we went to the wrong people and went to the wrong places to try to get help. We thank you, Lord, for being compassionate and a forgiving God. And we thank you, Lord God, that you are faithful toward us, that even when we confess our sins, your word says you are faithful and just to forgive us and to purify us of all unrighteousness. Thank you for being faithful, Lord, that every time we've had a need, you know how to give good gifts because every good and perfect gift comes from you, God, comes from the Father above. Thank you, Lord, that we can pray to you each day and you will give us this day our daily bread. Thank you for being so faithful even in the face of our unfaithfulness. And so, Lord God, our prayer today is that we would receive the blessing of your help. Lord, help us in our walk with you. Help us on our jobs. Help us in our careers. Help us lead our families. 
Help us as we try to do the work of ministry. Help us in our financial situations, Lord. Come alongside of us in our business dealings, Lord. Help us in our mindset and our thoughts. Help us in our in our emotions, God, to go up and down the scale. Help us to be uh, faithful in just a few things that you might make us rulers over many. Lord, we need the bountiful blessing of your help today. Come alongside of us and stand with us and support us and strengthen us in every area of our life. And God, we'll be careful to give your name the praise, the glory, and the honor that it so richly deserves. We thank you for being the God of bountiful blessings. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Again, today was day number 16, and we prayed from Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 18 from the New Living Translation of the Word of God. Here's what it said. It says, so the Lord must wait for you to come to him so he can show you his love and compassion. For the Lord is a faithful God. Blessed are those who wait for his help. Amen. God is waiting on me and you to ask for the help that we need. And God is no shorter than his word. He will supply it. So thank you for praying with us and praying for us. I'll be back tomorrow to pray with you. In the meantime, be victorious. God bless.